You called for me, my master? How is he feeling? Oh, he's still sleeping, master. Wake him up. I want to talk to him. Welcome, stranger. Wait, wait, who are you? Get out of my way or else. Please don't kill me. I come as a friend. You surprised me. Will you tell me your name then? He looks scared. There is no reason to be scared. Arkan. Arkan is the answer to your question. Arkan, me, the Elder Guard of the Azure Order. You speak to me as if you knew me. We have waited long for you to come. My father and my father's father spoke of you. The third stranger, the awaited one, the final guest. Stranger? Final guest? I don't understand any of this. Ah, the pain. Where am I? This is the great monastery of the Order. Home and shelter. Forgive me, but I still don't understand. No, no time for it now. His Magnificence is expecting you. Follow me. Welcome, Michael. I am the Abbot of the Azure Order and the Elder here. Michael? Someone has called me that before. I don't remember. Michael is your name, stranger. We have waited for you for many years. I have something for you left here by your lord, our patron. For many years we have awaited this moment. The Sword of Light. It will protect you, if you protect it. Only you may wield it. It is a great honor for me, though I still don't understand. Arkan, tell the stranger about our troubles in the village. We lived here in peace. We helped the villagers who lived nearby the monastery. Suddenly, for no apparent reason, things started to go badly. People started disappearing. One of our brothers went to the village to investigate and never came back. And then, things kept getting worse. The old abbot fell ill. He roamed the monastery halls, ranting about our time being up. I loved the old abbot. He was like a father to me. He taught me everything, yet, after his change, I was no longer able to understand him. He spoke only of death. He was pale, and his eyes, I still remember them. They were full of fear. It sounds like the poor man went mad. You should listen, then speak. The old abbot talked about death until it finally came. One day he climbed up to the tower to look at the sky. It makes me sad to speak about it. He was hit by lightning and his body burned. Poor man, I cannot bear to think about it. For three months we mourned the old abbot. We needed an heir. The friars chose me. Towards the end of the Elder's life, I took care of most of his matters. We are frightened. Bad things are happening in the monastery now as well. 
Yesterday they brought a girl found by the river. She was barely alive. We tried to help her. Failed. It took her. Until then we always know how to stop it. Good magic. Now powerless. How can I help? I don't know anything about magic. He go to village and see what is happening. Then he return and tell. We do rest. The Order needs your help, Michael. But first you must learn to control the sword. Go to Monk Manla. He will show Michael how to use sword and answer questions. Then go and fulfill your destiny. Manila will teach mastery of sword. Welcome, Michael. I am Manala, Guardian of the Azure Order. I will teach you a few simple things that might be useful during your mission. The first task is easy. In the room you will find two small pots. Bring them to me so I can see you're not afraid of jumping over narrow platforms or crouching in small places. Monk? Welcome, stranger. My name is Durkon, Durkon the Librarian. I care for the knowledge of the Azure Order. What brings you to me? I'm looking for answers to many questions. Questions? My books can tell you about the past, the future you have to learn by yourself. Come back to me after you defeat ten servants of the darkness. Fighting them, you will learn more than by reading books. something more difficult. Let's go to the second room. You hold in your hand the sword which brightens darkness, the sword of the Azure Order, created by the Lord of Light to protect us from evil. During your mission you will encounter enemies who can only be conquered with this weapon. In this room you will find a phantom of evil. Use the sword to fight him and then return to me.
Well done, Michael. I can see you handle the sword very well. Now let's go for the last task. Each enemy you encounter can see you and hear the sound you produce. Sometimes it's wise to remain unnoticed. In this room, you will find another evil phantom. Sneak close to him and kill him before he can see you coming. Very well, Michael. I believe you'll find my lessons useful. Now go to the village. The monastery gate is open. If you like, 
I can change you into a ghost. Servants of darkness will not see you coming, and you will be able to fight them with the power of your spirit. Your physical power will be lower, but the spirit higher. Or if you prefer, I can change you into a warrior. The power of your arm will make killing evil creatures easier. Your skin will be as hard as rock, and servants of darkness will not be able to hurt you. I choose the warrior form. Go. May the light guide you. Michael, I see you are no longer powerless. You are ready for the battle that is your destiny. The Lord of Light has assigned this task to you. Everything is in your hands now. Ivy, everything is so strange. I don't know if this is a dream or an illusion or what has happened to me. I've stopped trying to understand it. I know the rules of this world, but I simply don't know if I'm ready for this task. Don't try to understand, Michael. Accept things as they are. Follow your heart and you will find the way. You are fulfilling your destiny. You have been chosen, which is a great responsibility. And a great honor. You are only beginning to feel the power in you. Don't be afraid. Fight, and you shall conquer. What do I have to do, Ivy? Give me some instructions. A great battle awaits you. You are the hand of light that must hold off the darkness. Evil is penetrating the world, and you are the last chance to defeat it. If you fail, we shall all perish. The world will be covered in darkness forever. There will be no salvation. The Master of Darkness has descended to the Earth, leading his loathsome army. You must stop him. Ancient powers have been sealed in three stones. Heart, body, and soul. When you use them, the power will be unleashed and pierce the empty heart of the Angel of Darkness. Find the stones and use them, Michael. For such is your quest. Where should I look for them? Keep your eyes open, and the light will walk with you. Look in the village near the Forest of Solitude. There is also a woman named Nevaya. This witch lives in the forest. She has one of the stones, or knows something about it. I will be watching you, Michael. May the light guide you.
People say that I am a witch, but this is not true. I simply use the powers of nature for my purpose. I like to play, and my power makes that possible. Greetings, Navaya. I don't know what people say. I only know that I see a beautiful woman. Thank you, stranger. I feel as though I know you. I have waited for you to come and help me. There is a filthy monster named Aklasia who lives in the swamps nearby. He interferes terribly in my games. If you could kill him for me, I would make it worth your while. Believe me. You shall be rewarded in ways you had never dreamed of. Tell me more about Ecclesia. Where can I find him? Ecclesia. I used to like him. He was a nice companion in my games. Now he has changed. He lives in a dark fortress. He doesn't come to me anymore. He interferes and holds a grudge because I rejected him. Please save me. He's a great liar, so don't let him speak. Don't talk to him. Just get rid of him. Greetings, beautiful. Did you fulfill my request? Your reward still awaits you. Tell me more about a quest.
servant of darkness.
kill me. Please have mercy. Why should I do that, you worthless creature? I am only a monk. Don't kill me. Listen to the story of my curse. The mist is drawing near. Night is falling. It's better that we flee. Flee from this accursed place. I'll give you a chance. Speak. If you convince me, then I won't kill you. One day, I was paying my friend Navaya a visit. She fed me, gave me something to drink. When I awoke, all my limbs were paralyzed. Navaya was dressed in black robes and engaged in some kind of ritual. I remember her eyes, cold and terrible. Suddenly, I felt something touching me, entering my body. Navaya. I knew when I saw her that something didn't feel right. Maybe your story is true. I will spare your life, Friar. If you are telling the truth, then it's a sad story. Tell me more about this witch. Navaya wants power, and she will have it as soon as she finds the Three Stones. Long ago, she got hold of the Seven Signs. With them, she can capture the Hearthstone. She must be stopped. I've heard enough tales. It's time to begin my journey. Farewell, monk. May the light guide you, stranger. Hurry, there's no time. You will find the entrance to this place nearby. Greetings, beautiful. Did you fulfill my request? Your reward still awaits you. Yes. I knew you would do it for me. Let's go down into my basement. It will be cozy there, and I will give you your... Reward. I wonder if you like my real form. Even more beautiful than before, don't you think? And now, we shall play. <laughs> <laughs> 